What's up, guys? What is going on? I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, uh, but welcome to Town & Country TV. This is Mitchell Watts. Uh, I don't know, can you guys hear me or not? No, don't, don't really know. Well, welcome to the live stream. We are going to be giving away in this video a lot of really, really cool stuff, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a second. I need to get confirmation from our IT guys, Mr. Josh and Mr. Colton, make sure that we are good to go. So I got a thumbs up on the video. Uh, Colton, does it look like we're good on the audio? Not 100% sure. Can you guys hear me? Well, I'll tell you, say what now? <laughs> Carter, we will let you know if you are the winner or not here in just a second. We're going to have a nice little live video. We're going to talk about a lot of different things, but we're not only going to be giving away just a uh, just a, an actual set of wheels, tires, and a leveling kit, which we're going to cover that in a second. But we also have a lot of really cool swag that we're going to give you guys. Uh, we've got some hats. We've got uh, a TC Customs jacket. We've got some Town & Country merch. I mean, it's gonna, be a little, it's gonna be a little fun time. And I've also got a special surprise for you guys that uh, we're gonna pick one person that leaves some comments down below in the chat, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook Live or wherever you are, leave some comments below because we're gonna pick one of you guys out of the, those that leave a comment on one of those sources you're going to get a $100 TC Customs gift card to spend on anything inside of our store. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So as you guys are flipping through, make sure to leave those chats below. Uh, so that way, if you have any questions, we can hit you up there. So without further ado, um, I wanna introduce you to somebody. Um, and his name uh, is actually Colton. He is our TC Customs manager. And uh, this is our little uh, redneck microphone. But Colton, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name's Colton Love. I've been in the car industry and dealt with aftermarket vehicles for about six, seven years now. And luckily Mitchell gave me the opportunity to come on here and see what I can do to help us out and help each other grow. Absolutely, man. So one of the things you'll know, uh, notice about Colton, if you ever have any questions and you need a lift kit, wheels, tires, um, any kind of suspension, even a lower truck, uh, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. We also have a lower truck on the other side of this. Um, that dude, he can help you. He has got a lot of experience in the uh, automotive space. And uh, I think this is, might be your first live live uh, video, isn't this it? this is my first live video, oh, that's actually, awesome. yeah, oddly enough. That's awesome. Technology going on. <laughs> I know it. So uh, if you have any questions and you want to order something specific, uh, keep in mind we ship free to the lower 48 states. Uh, no questions about that. I'm not sure why the camera is all getting cattywampus <laughs> on you there, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we do ship to the lower 48 states. You can go to tccustoms.com and place your order there. Or if you prefer and want a customized quote, uh, reach out to us, 205-491-0010. I'm going to say that again since this is live, 205-491-0010. Uh, so what I want to do, um, we're going to be giving away all of this merch that we just showed you here in just a second. Uh, but first thing I want to do is I want to showcase to you guys a couple of really cool trucks. So if you've seen any of the uh, advertisements that we did on the leveling kits and the, the wheels and tires that were given away, uh, this truck that's on the showroom behind me is probably the one that you saw. Uh, so I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of a walk around on that truck uh, in typical town and country uh, fashion, town and country TV. So this is actually a 2019 Ford F-150 King Ranch. Uh, the cool part about this is even though it's got the the two and a half inch BDS leveling kit, and it's got the 33 inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers, and it's also got the Black Rhino, uh, what are these? The, I would almost call them the Pinatubos, but they're not yeah, the Pinatubos. The, 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 uh, I can't remember, but anyways, the Black Rhino wheels. <laughs> Uh, so even though it's got all of that different stuff, you still can qualify for 0% for 84 months at the time that I'm recording this video, this live video. Um, and so that's a really, really cool thing. And I've been at this dealership for 20 years now, and I've never seen 0% for 84 months up until about 30 or 60 days ago. So uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff. But one of the things I want to talk about on this particular truck, um, and the reason this thing is even on the showroom is because this is exactly what we're giving away. So we don't care if it's a Ford, a Chevrolet, what have you. If Black Rhino makes a wheel for your vehicle, it's included on this contest. If you have got any size Nitto Ridge Grapplers, uh, that's awesome. And I, I wanna take a quick second and say a huge thanks to Mike and everybody at Black Rhino Wheels uh, that actually donated the wheels to give to you guys. 
Uh, so thank you for making this giveaway possible because really at the end of the day, this thing is something that we're doing as our, as our 20th anniversary of the dealership, but also um, just, just as a way of saying thank you to everybody that follows us on social media, uh, whether it's on Town & Country TV or Facebook or what have you. Thank you guys for following us. Um, and then BDS as well, thank you guys for everything you do to support our, uh, our endeavors on uh, creating some of the baddest trucks out there. Um, so I guess, um, what's that? Who's got a dollar? I just got a dollar. Thank you. Who, who, uh, who gave us a dollar? Uh, I guess it was a super chat. Who was that? Who was that? Let me read that out loud. Okay. It says, I don't know. I guess my card is the name, <laughs> you know, whatever. But, um, anyways, Hey Colton, step in here and tell us a little bit. Um, what is it? Cause I know that you have said a couple different times, uh, that you like black Rhino. We're, we're a wheel pros dealer. So that means we sell the fuel off road. We sell the American forces. We, we sell a lot of those different brands as well, but what is it? Some of the things that you like specifically about black Rhino wheels? Uh, I really like them cause they re they're really good for what we do. We do a lot of trucks that we put out on the, on the lot to, to sell to other customers. Um, they have really good offsets. They're, they're, pretty um they're not wild you know they're not in a crazy negative offsets but they fit the truck really well so you don't have to worry about issues with hitting your crash bars and stuff like that mm. but they're also built really well uh they are a little more expensive than most wheels but the way they're 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 um built is is a lot better their cast flow form um you know they're, they're just a lot better material um they also have a ton a ton of styles there's so many if you can't find something you like in this in this wheel then you're doing something wrong yeah, but that's, that's they, they're just awesome wheels, as you can see. And I've also heard they've got a pretty good warranty as, as well, or at least their warranty process. Uh, I think they've got on most of their vehicle, or most of the wheels, it's like a two-year finish warranty. Uh, but, but I know the process for if there is an issue, they've been pretty easy to deal with, haven't they? Yeah, we've only ever had one issue, and that was kind of a finish issue, and the customer came back, and we had another wheel within two days. There was no, no oh, big problems awesome. with that. They helped us out as fast as they could. And, that's another good thing. Their customer service is great. I love working with Mike over there, and he's, he's yeah. always fun to talk to and easy to get along with and Absolutely. takes care of everything for us. So uh, when we started out this, this endeavor to say, hey, we wanted to give away a, a package to our, our followers, why was it that we went specific? Because I know we specifically went after Nitto. Why was that? I mean, I know that was one of your primary choices to yeah, go after sure. Nitto. Why did you want to go after Nitto instead of one of the other tire manufacturers out there? Well, you know, um, as you know, and everybody that works, so we went through a bunch of different tire brands, and these have just been the best. They're they're low on noise. They have a great tread life. They they look great. Um, they're not too aggressive, but you know that they'll get the job done if you ever need to actually use them. You know, they're not like most all-terrain tires where. Yeah, they look okay, but if you get in a situation, they're not going to get you out of it. Well, well, these are, and while doing that, of course, you know, you get the name Nitto. That's yeah. a great brand name. Uh, like I said, it's a 50,000-mile tread wear, uh, super low on noise. I can't tell you how many customers we come in. They come in, they look at the truck, they drive it, and they say, wow, these are so quiet for what, for what they look like, and that's what people want. They want that aggressive look, but they want it to be comfortable and quiet, and that's what these, that's what these do. I couldn't have said it better myself, man. Uh, let me borrow that real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're not social distancing. Well, I, yeah. It's the lens. It makes it look like it's closer than it really is. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, in, the, in the, yeah, uh, we're essential business. Does that mean we have to social distance? I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, in all seriousness, though, guys, um, if you ever are in the market for a vehicle, we are the cleanest dealership out there to, to buy one because we are in the state of Alabama considered essential business. And uh, so thank the good Lord that we have not had to shut down at all. Uh, but one of the things, we literally have multiple people at our dealership. That's all they do all day long is sit there and sanitize the customer touch points, uh, the light switches, the door handles, the, the, uh, the receptionist desk, everything. Like we are taking, I know that we weren't just social distancing there, but uh, by and large, we have got it down pat. So. Um, thank you for sharing that information yeah, about the, the particular tires because um, sometimes these guys get a little tired of hearing my, my voice and my hot air. But it, everything that you said is really, really right. Um, and, I, and I'll talk about BDS for a second. 
Um, and, and keep in mind, this video and this whole giveaway is not sponsored at all. Uh, and for, you guys know, I'll, I'll be happy to tell you if it was. I do want to say thank you because Nitto and Black Rhino gave these to us to give to you, but past that, there is no compensation. We're just using this as a way to give back to you guys. Uh, but BDS, why do we use BDS? So now, the, the leveling kit that's in here is a two and a half inch leveling kit for the F-150. Um, the nice part about that is it's got a, a hockey puck style of a spacer on, on the top. Is that right? And they also yes. break the spacer down or break the uh, strut down on the inside and, uh, and have another spacer in the middle. Is that right? Is that how that yeah, works? Yeah, that way it's not, all, it's not all put on top. But, yeah, there is a spacer on top of the strut that actually helps space that out to make it a little taller. So you're not losing any kind of ride quality because you're still using the same struts and shocks that – came from Ford, mm -hmm. so the ride quality is still there. It's just a little a little higher in the front. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and that way it has a nice even level look on the F-150. Uh, but this giveaway itself, as we walk back up to the front, uh, this giveaway itself is not just for Ford. So if you have a Chevrolet and BDS makes a leveling kit for it, Black Rhino makes a, a, a wheel for it, guess what? You guys get it as well. And some of you guys registered and didn't even own a, a pickup truck. You're like, well, why do I want to do that? Well, if you would rather we'll actually write you a check for 1500 bucks in lieu of the leveling kit and the wheels and the tires um, and so that is an option if you want so if you want to go with the leveling kit wheels and tires uh, that's definitely a higher dollar value amount uh, but if you don't want to go that way and you'd rather have the cash you can call it your own town and country stimulus check uh, that's what I, <laughs> I just made that up off the top that's of my head. Can you tell? Like it's, no, it's cheesy. That's no, awful. No, it worked. It worked <laughs> that was terrible. Um, so let's do this. Let's uh, to keep this thing flowing. Make sure you guys are leaving some comments below. If you're just now joining the live stream, if you are with a lucky winner, we're going to pick out of the people that are chatting down below and asking questions. And Josh, if you see a really good question to come across, please read that out loud so we can answer that. Because I also want this to be kind of a Q and A as well. Uh, but if you What's that? How about for a Camry? <laughs> they don't make it for a Camry. They don't, they don't make the BDS for the, the Camry, but maybe next time. But you might be in the market for that $1,500 that we're going to give away instead of the wheels, tires, and leveling kit. Um, but uh, anyway, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and jump into one of the what, – what hat do you want to give away first, Colton? Man, I, I want to do this, this blue and white one. Okay. I want to save this camo hat for last. Okay. Uh, oh, awesome. yeah. Camel, camel hat, roll tad, roll tad. No, <laughs> the, those of you that know me, that's just kind of a, an ongoing joke as I say roll tide. So that is what we're going to grab. Uh, this is what we're going to give away. I tell you what, you want to hold that? Let me go grab the bucket of people. So that way we, uh, the bucket of people, that sounded terrible. Uh, but as you can see, come back around this, we have... A whole lot of entrance. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a name out of this bucket. This is the same bucket as you guys can see. I'm going to pick one out. This is not a not one of the winners, uh, but you can see we've got individual people. I don't know how uh, well the GoPro is going to be able to focus in on that, uh, but you can see that is an actual person. I'm going to put this person back in. But every single one of these slips is a different person's name. And uh, so we're going to pick one winner right now for the TC Customs hat. Let's, let's then, take a second. Let's talk about how many people actually entered this, too. Ooh, that's a good point. We, we had over 13,000 entries. Once we broke it down, you know, and kind of get rid of some of the duplicates, it, it lowered a little bit. But I, I, I want to thank everybody that took the time to do it and showed their interest and showed us, you know, some, some, some love and care that, that they like what we're doing. And appreciate it so thank yes. thank everybody that's done this for us absolutely absolutely and this it, it, he's right this is truly just a way of us to say thank you and to give back to you guys um so with that being said go ahead and uh, this is the hat we're giving away right yes sir all right so here's what i want you to do turn your head that way and pick out all a right. name don't be looking don't be cheating i'm cheating <laughs> see what we got here all right read it out we got a, a Jared Brown of Georgia, Al Georgia, Alabama. Georgia, Why did Alabama. I say Georgia? Sorry. Had, right? <laughs> so Jared Brown, Jared you want Brown. a hat? We, and that's what we're going to do is we're going to take your name, put it off to the side, um, and then for the grand prize winner, we're going to put your name. So if you won the hat, you still get the ability to come back in and win the leveling kit, wheels, and tires. So just because you saw your name come out of the hat does not mean you are done for the contest. Uh, you, it means you're done for the rest of the hats and uh, the TC Customs jacket and things like that. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit about and showcase to you guys a couple of these Black Rhino wheels 
that we have uh, listed up here. Um, so it's kind of funny. Everybody said, "Why, Mitchell, why in the world did you order a red wheel? I think this thing would look sick if you put it on a black truck. But really, the real reason we ordered a black wheel is that if you're on the other end of our showroom, uh, it, you're like, whoa, what is that? And it kind of draws you into our TC Custom showroom. Uh, so this is one of our um, uh, main enhancements that we made. We had like a three or four million dollar renovation here at our dealership and the whole purpose behind it or one of the main purposes behind it was expanding our TC Customs showroom. And we have got a long way to go to fill out the rest of the space, but we're definitely on the right track. And uh, I know that we've had a, uh, Colton, I, question is primarily for you. We've had a, a string where we've sold a lot of lift trucks recently and we're actually struggling to keep the builds going. Is that right? Yeah, for sure. And not only are we selling them, uh, we're scheduling uh, work for customers that just come in. So we're not just selling these trucks. We're also uh, installing to customers that already have trucks mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's been super busy lately that's wonderful i, I mean there's, there's probably a few reasons that is but it's awesome and we love it and we thank y'all for for coming absolutely and zero percent for 84 months does not uh doesn't exactly hurt that situation either um so i tell you what let's do this um uh let, let's do this let's turn around let's look at this other truck that we have uh behind you so turning around um this is another tc custom so not only do we do lift trucks uh, but we also do a couple of different things. So this particular truck is one that we've got lowered. It's an STX model. Uh, so this one is a 2020 model. You can do it on 1920 or whatever you want, but uh, it's got the Ford Performance lowering kit, lowering kit on it. So I think it drops at what, two or three inches in the back and like one and one and a quarter in the front? Yes, sir. Uh, something al along those lines. But as you can see, we've also got a set of Black Rhino wheels on the front of here. It's a 22 inch wheel. Um, I think it's a nine and a half inch wide, but you got a lot of different options. But the whole reason I'm bringing you this way is to talk about something that we have never talked about before, and that is going to be Magnaflow. Well, uh, technically we've talked about Magnaflow before, but I wanna tell you something that we have never advertised before. Um, so we've been working with Magnaflow and they've been doing a lot of the exhaust systems on most of our trucks because it's a great option. You know, we are a Roush dealer, so we're a Roush performance dealer, and we can help you with Roush exhaust and things like that. But we've had a couple of people that say, you know, uh, the Roush is all awesome, but when I'm driving to the beach, I feel like my eardrum's about to blow out of my head. Well, this is a great option instead of something that's so loud. So it's a little bit quieter, but it still sounds fantastic when you step on it. All of that to say that, um, that we have actually struck a deal with Magnaflow specifically. A lot of people realize that, hey, that Magnaflow makes it a great exhaust kit, but they don't sell a black tipped exhaust for the F-150. Well, we, Town & Country, TC Customs, got together with Magnaflow and we are, they're building them for, the, for us right now, but we are the exclusive partner for Magnaflow with a black ex exit exhaust tip. So if you want a Magnaflow exhaust system with a factory black tip, you have to go to tccustoms.com. It's not on the website yet, but it's coming and I'm very, very excited to share that with you. So make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel if you want some more information on that. But I'll tell you what, Colton, uh, I need to grab some water. So do you want to tell us a little bit more about this truck that you built? Yeah, I would love to. You know, like he said, we kind of went over it. We did a lowering uh, setup on it. It's kind of a not the normal thing we do, but some people like it. And I think this thing turned out awesome. We've got this Magnaflow exhaust. One of the things I really like about the, a lot of these trucks we do is we do this custom cat skin leather in a lot of these. It, it's super high quality. We've worked with these guys for a long time. They actually provide uh, leather for a lot of OEM vehicles. So you're getting an OEM quality fit, finish, and you know, it's, it, it looks good, it feels good. It's normally perforated, unless you don't want it perforated. But we like to do that because it helps, you know, keep you from sticking to the seat and everything. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, we've got a spray and bed liner. We can do spray and bed liners here. We always nitrogen fill all of our tires. It's, it's, a, it's a little thing we do. It helps customers, you know, not have to deal with their tires getting overinflated or underinflated just because the weather changes a little bit. I know that's a big frustration to wake up and your tire lights on and you're not sure if it's two pounds low or if it's 20 pounds low, but you know, it, it happens and it's something we do to try to help customers out. No, I mean, besides the exhaust, that's, that's the only performance modification we've really done. Uh, we do modifications to vehicles. We actually have a TC Customs Mustang right here. That was a good question, Josh. Let me embarrass myself by not knowing where this is at on this gotcha. car. Oh, look at it. Yeah, look at that. So this is actually a Roush 
phase two supercharger. Uh, it's claimed 750 horsepower Woo. to the flywheel, which is a lot of horsepower. That's, that's a lot of car for the money. And this actually retains your factory warranty. So that, that's, that's a huge deal. You get to make this kind of horsepower in this uh, budget-friendly car, really, if you think about it, and it retains a warranty. You don't have to worry about it. If, it, if it, something messes up, as long as you haven't tampered with it or anything, this is all covered. And, you know, there, there's not a lot of cars that can boast that much horsepower for that much money. And that's, I, I think that's a huge, huge thing that we, ha we have going on here with Roush. And since they help us out, and, you know, they, they, they work with Ford to develop this, and that's why they can, they can carry that warranty through. And that's another thing we want to mention. Uh, BDS actually has a warranty for all of their parts. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, what is it? Is it a five year, 60,000 miles? Yeah, so, uh, so BDS has a uh, 560, uh, they call it their 560 plus warranty. Uh, so basically, what happens is if you buy a kit from Town and Country, you have a qualified person that installs it. Um, basically, what happens is you register for that warranty, it doesn't cost anything. You just They just need to know who you are on the front end. And then if the dealership actually, that you take it to, if you have a, a driveline issue or something like that, and you had a qualified, guess what? BDS will cover anything that Ford Motor Company turns down. So if Ford Motor Company says, ah, hey, your transmission went out and it's because of the lift kit, first off, that's BS. Second off, if that happens, BDS will go in, step in, and they will cover that warranty repair at no cost to you. And there's no deductible, my understanding as yeah, well. Yeah, I haven't, when I read up on it, I didn't see anything about a deductible. Yeah. Will the leveling kit in my F-150 avoid the warranty? No, that's a great question. So the leveling kit on the F-150, the same two and a half inch leveling kit that we talked about just a second ago, um, that same two and a half inch leveling kit is covered under that five year 60 powertrain warranty. Uh, the 560plus.com is the website that you go to register for that warranty. Uh, but no, if, it, if, if a Ford dealership says, hey, this leveling kit is the reason that we're not, we're denying this warranty claim. BDS steps in and takes care of whatever Ford does not, which is pretty stinking cool. Uh, that, and that right there goes to show you how much they actually, um, how much they actually support their products. Now, and talk about that for a second. A lot of people don't realize BDS is owned by the same company as Sport Truck USA. Uh, Sport Truck USA is also owned by another small little company that you might know called Fox, Fox Racing Shocks. Um, and uh, that, that company is massive. That same holding company that owns Fox also just bought SCA Performance. You Connecting the dots, this company is massive, and they actually have pretty good customer service as well. Yeah, great customer um, service. But uh, uh, not, I mean, it's good, but it's not nearly as good as Black Rhino. Oh, no. My, yeah. Mike over there, man, I, I can't give him enough, enough praise. That man has helped us so much and been Absolutely. so helpful. Uh, absolutely. Now, if you keep talking him up too much, he's going to ask you for a drink later. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of what we're looking at. I think it's time to do another giveaway, yeah, don't you think? Say, yeah, I, I think so. Um, so I'm going to let you hold the, the microphone, and I'll do the drawing this time if that sounds good. All right. All right. Which one are we giving away? So we've already given this I've one I've given away, that right? one away, so it's your All choice right, so now. Let's, let's take this thing. Now right. you said you said if you already get your name drawn for a, a small product, you can your name goes yes. back in there. After after the yeah, so we're gonna draw all okay. of this swag, uh, and we're, once we give all of it away, then we'll take these people that won all of this. We're gonna put you back in, mix it up, so that way you're not disqualified from the final final drawing. Uh, so I guess we'll give away this one since you want to you, give away the you give, camo. You giving you giving my hat away? Oh look at, look at that. that! Look at that! TC look Customs, that. you got a rep. <laughs> Plus bad hair day, you know. <laughs> That's exactly right. So I guess if you will hold this for I'll me, I'll hold I'm it. Turn now look head. away. Yep, I got I got to do the no look, the reverse no look. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, and I'm gonna grab this one. How many are you grabbing? Too many. There, there's you go. There's one. Right, just one. That's just one. All right. All right. What do we got there? All right, we got Nicholas Washington out of New York. Nicholas Washington. Nicholas Washington. If you're watching, hit us up in that chat. We would greatly appreciate that. Nicholas Washington out of New York. So, uh, well, that's going to be pretty cool. Hey, what we're going to do as well, um, if I can find my phone, I don't know where I placed it, um, or uh, we're going to call the grand prize winner live and see if we can get him to maybe drop an F-bomb on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Demonetized, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm gonna put this hat over here. What we got next, Mr. Cole? Uh, I, I kind of want to talk more about BDS again. Like, you know, I, I, I keep talking about all these people that we have that are helping us out, that that we use, and there's a lot of reasons. And one of the biggest reasons we use 
BDS is there is it FMVSS 126 certified. They they've gone through all jumped through their hoops and done everything they had to do to get certified to prove that they are not going to affect your traction control, your lane departure, your stability control, or anything like that. You put it on there and your truck's going to drive like it's stock. You're not going to have to worry about any lights coming on or anything like that. It's all going to work right, and that's another reason we use them so much. And and when customers call, that's who, who we who we try to sell for. They're not the most expensive. And they're, but they're not the cheapest, but they're super high quality uh, leveling kit, lift kit, whatever you want. So Absolutely. That's, a, that's another big reason we use them. Um, you got any products you want to talk about? Yeah, um, I, I do want to talk about the AMP power deployable running boards. Uh, so let me grab that microphone from you. Uh, so one of the things that I particularly like, if you've watched our channel for any length of time, is going to be the AMP power deployable running boards. And one of the reasons I love it, and you can't really see it too well, but maybe you can even hear it you can hear it's almost like sandpaper. So if you're getting in and out of your truck and it's cold or it's icy, that's really gonna help you, hopefully keep you from busting your butt trying to get in and out of the truck. And the nice part is, is that you have the ability to, it, it tucks away pretty quickly, opens up pretty quickly. And the cool part is you've even got these little lights uh, that showcase and allow you to see where you're stepping at night. So it's a really, really cool product. And we're also a uh, authorized dealer of AMP power deployable running boards. But they also have a couple of really cool products where like if you need a bed step, they've got some bed steps that mount in front of that tire, uh, but also one in the back. So if you, your truck didn't come with a, a uh, tailgate step, you can actually have the AMP power or the AMP bed step installed on your truck. And that's a pretty cool, sweet little setup there as well. So um, well, yeah. Why don't you explain to them how it works real quick with opening the door and stuff like that? Oh, that's a good point. So yeah. I, I know I've got it on a switch right here. So you tap the button. That's just because it's a display. What happens on the AMP power deployable running board is you open the door and the computer of the vehicle knows that the door is open. And so AMP actually has a port plugged into the OBD port, which is the brains of the vehicle. And it can tell when the truck thinks the door's open and that's when they automatically come down. So it's a pretty cool way that it's set up, but AMP is actually tied into what they call their plug and play system. It's plugged into their OBD port and that's how it can tell when the door's open. When any of the doors open, that side running board opens up. When the passenger side door opens, the passenger side opens up. And it's, it's a pretty cool, slow, slick little setup. Uh, and it's actually relatively easy to install them, too. You don't want me installing them. That's why we have great technicians. But, um, yeah, Jonathan was here. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, that's got that. I tell you what, let's go ahead and give away another hat. All right. Let's do this TC Customs camo hat. Oh, man. And Josh, if you uh, do, you have any other uh, questions that pop up on the live chat? Make sure to read those out to us because we do want to answer any questions that you guys have. Uh, and you know that uh, that phrase they say that there is no stupid thing, there is no uh, such thing as a stupid question. Well, that's a lie. Your mama lied to you. Let's see how smart you are. <laughs> you ready? Oh, you got a good question. Yeah. Okay. What offset will give me a flush look on my 2019 F150? Uh, I would say somewhere between it. What we normally sell is a Oh, sorry, I probably saw this. <laughs> what we normally sell is a 20 by 9 with a one, a plus 1 to plus 12 offset. That's only 11 millimeter difference, but, but that's basically what this truck has here, if you can take a look at it. That is most likely a positive 12. Oh, well, Josh bumped into something. <laughs> but this would be a, a 20 by 9 with a positive 12 offset. And as you can see, it's, it's flush. There's no need for, for fender flares or anything like that, so... Let's actually, if you want to walk over here, we've got a bunch of them over here. We can, we can pull some specs directly off a box that would, would help you probably a little bit. Yeah, I was hoping that it said the, uh, the actual offset on there, but it is a 20 by 9 and a half. For well, it's, it one. says it right here. So this is actually a black rhino. It is a 20 by 9 positive 12, like I said, and that's exactly what that's going to be. That's, that's basically what they all kind of come in is that size. So that's, that's, that's what it's going to be. And this is just a limited stock that we've got. As, as I've told you already, uh, there's been some issues with uh, getting parts in fast enough. Uh, but the good news is, is that Black Rhino is pretty good about uh, ordering parts and getting parts here. Uh, but we've built so many trucks here recently. So uh, let's go ahead and go away, give away this TC Customs. And Josh, keep firing off the questions if you see any that, that look pretty decent. I do like the questions. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Hey, by the way, you nailed that question too, man. That's awesome. Hey, man. All I... right, so who wants to win a custom camo hat? All right, uh, do you want to draw this one? I'll go for it. Let me, let me look away. Yep. All right, well, let's see what you got. All right. We have got a, oh, I can't do this, a Steve 
Bodry, B R, sorry, B O D R I, Steve Bodry. All right, so. so you got you a hat, man, a nice camo. I think that's actually Real Tree. Is it what it is? Yeah, that's Real Tree camo hat right there. B O, how do you spell that again? B O D I, B O D R I, and he's actually from Ontario. Really, so, very cool. Very that is cool. cool that we have we have people up there following us. Where did that, what'd you put? Yeah, oh, okay, you used a black pen. It kind of blended that's in, right. sorry. <laughs> you know, and you, you mentioned Ontario. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody understands um, that on the contest that we are going to ship this stuff to anywhere in the lower 48 states. On the hat, we'll probably be able to ship it all the way to you guys. But as far as the wheels, tires, the leveling kit, we are limited to shipping that into the lower 48 states of the United States. Um, we'll ship it to any address inside of there, and then you can kind of take it across customs if you want to. So if you live on the, you know, in Canada, we'll ship it to an address that you want to predetermine and take care of that. And if you don't want to fool with any of that, once again, 1500 bucks is your thing to do. So to make sure that you guys are asking these questions, because as I've already mentioned to you a couple times in the live stream, that we are going to pick one of you guys uh, that is live chatting and we are going to, uh, because you're watching this video, we're going to pick one person that's sending us chats on the live chat to win a $100 TC Customs gift card. Um, no strings attached, no hidden gotchas, none of that stuff. So make sure you're leaving your questions out there. Josh, do you see any other questions you can hit us with? I need a charger. You need a charger? Yeah, <laughs> then, then that might be what we'll do here in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this camera so that way Josh can go grab a charger because this GoPro that we're using is almost dead. Uh, so let's do this. What do we want to handle next? Let's, uh, let's talk about the Nitto. Well, I guess we've already talked about them, but we've kind of got a display over here that shows the different sizes if you want to just take a look at the yeah, difference that's, between a that sounds like, and a 37. That sounds like a great idea. I'm going to hand this to you. Okay. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know the distance on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it'll reach, I promise. I got you. So as you know, we're giving away a set of Nitto Ridge Grapplers in, in the big one, but you can just take a look at these things. I mean, as you can tell, this 33 is already meaty, but then you can go get a 35, 37. I mean, there's, there's some good-looking tires, and, I mean, you can just see how massive these things can get. But, um, and we normally uh, restrict our, our 37s for big lift trucks or – for uh, F-250s, we do a good few of F-250s and they, they hold these 37s really well with no rubbing or anything. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is, that's about it on that. I just wanted to kind of show you the size comparison between a 33, a 35, and a 37. And when you stand there, you actually really can see the difference. It, it does make a pretty good difference. Yeah, it is, it is a massive difference. That's awesome. All right, so let's give away a, uh, a TC uh, Town & Country shirt. All right, have at it, dude. Let's me again? A, yeah, or you want me to pick out? Yeah, you, you pick the name. All right, I'll, I'll pick the winner. So what we're doing this time is we are giving away, let me see if I can do this with a microphone in my hand, we're giving away the Town & Country Ford shirt. It's a pretty sweet little shirt. Uh, this one happens to be in an X, XL, so if this size don't fit you, hand it to someone else that you know. Because <laughs> it's the only size I got. Uh, so we're going to do this one right here. All right, do you mind holding the bowl up for me? Oh, I'll hold the bowl. I guess you don't, I could have just done yeah, it off the, well, he's yeah. so tall, the table's so low. <laughs> As uh, I think it's a running joke because I, in almost every YouTube video I mention that I'm six foot three, like everybody forgets, I apologize. All right, so let's pick out this name. Oh my goodness, so much paper. All right, here we go. I think I've got one. Is that one? Yep. All right, who have we got? We've got Michael Cor Corivio. Out of Florida, I totally butchered your name, and dude, I'm so sorry. Uh, C O R R I V E A U, Michael, out of Florida, dude. Thank you and congratulations. That shirt is coming to you. Like I said, if it don't uh, fit you, then you can hand it to somebody else. <laughs> and uh, I tell you what, while we're on a hot streak, let's just go ahead and give away the TC Customs jacket too. Now it might be getting a little bit too warm. Uh, but hopefully someone in Canada can win this thing, and maybe you can still get some use out of it the, during this uh, during this springtime. So, uh, do you mind showcasing the uh, the TC Customs jacket? This is kind of special. I haven't got one of these yet. I, <laughs> <So> <laughs> he is really true. nice. Uh, it, it's it's Port Authority. It's it's about like a, you know a Columbia jacket. It's got you know water repellent on the outside, nice fleece on the inside. Just it's a nice nice quality product, and we, you know we got our logo on there for you. Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to let you draw the winner this time. All right. I can't look. Sorry, sorry. 
Yeah, he, he's over here trying to cheat. Y'all see this? Well, I saw the name. And then I saw your name. <laughs> I had to avoid it. Let's see what we got here. We've got a Sean Hanneman. Sean Hanneman from Nevada. Woohoo! We're getting, we're getting, we're getting there around. you go. Yeah, the guy, of course, the guy in the desert wins the jacket. That's right. Yeah. He'll get to wear three <laughs> days out of the year. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. All right, so we'll get that taken care of. So I think that's got everything we'll, we'll do is we'll draw the winner for the gift card after this live stream is done. Uh, so I guess what that means, uh, is there any other questions that you guys have? Josh, do you see any other good questions that we need to be taking a look at? Any questions before? Yeah, I know it seems like I'm delaying. How big and wide can we get on the wheels and tires? How big and wide do you want to go? I mean, whatever, whatever they sell. I mean, if, if, Absolutely. if, if it's in there line we can't be liable if they don't fit properly that's like right. i said that that's why when i showed you the size that we have that's the one we always recommend because you can see those are the ones that are going to fit flush but they're not going to rub or scrape or do anything or mess anything up like that so it's i mean that, that's up to you how wide you want them to be absolutely so any size black uh <laughs> black rhino wheel any size any width any size tire any any width tire doesn't matter just keep in mind like he said that if it don't fit it ain't up to me so uh, we'll make some recommendations. We'll get in touch with you uh, and call Do you we guys sell live. Takeoffs? Do we sell takeoffs? Was the question from Josh Vanderberg. The answer is yes, we absolutely do. So all these trucks, uh, and that's one of the cool things about buying a brand new TC Customs truck is that the cost of the package is automatically reduced because we give you a credit for those takeoffs. So since the vehicle is brand new, off the lot, we take it, put a lift kit, wheels, and tires on it. We take that lift kit, or we take the factory wheels and tires, and the tire pressure sensors, and the lug nuts, and we sell them to you at a much discounted rate out here. But we also take that money and apply it towards reducing the package. So if you're interested in a new truck, that's about the only way you can get a, a, a tire credit for your tires and wheels yeah, exactly. and, and wheels and tires. So that works out pretty cool. That's a great question, Josh. What other question have you got? That was awesome. Would I need to replace my control arms with a leveling kit? So the question is, do you need to re replace the control arms with the leveling kit? The answer, I'm going to let that. He's the much more of the technical guy, so here you go. Uh, no, it's not, it's not a big enough difference to put any kind of strain on the ball joint. So no, you would not have to replace your upper control arm. If you've got somewhere to like a three and a half, four inch lift, that's when you really need to start worrying about stuff like that. So no, the, the, question, or the answer is no, you do not have to replace that. Anything else off the, off the bat real quick before we go into another spill? No? Okay. No other questions? I just want to touch base too. I, I know we're doing, you know, wheels, tires, lifts, Mustangs, you know, stuff like that. We, we also sell stuff for like u utility use, like boxes, uh, fifth wheels, turnover balls, stuff like that. We're not just, uh, you know, fancy looking, anything like that. We can also help you with your work rig. You know, anything you need, we can help you do that. So if that's any, anything you want or need, again, you can call us at 491, sorry, 205-491-0010. Absolutely. All right. I guess now is the uh, now is, is this the grand prize? Are we gonna give away the grand prize? I think Any so. other questions? Yeah, I know. It seems like we're trying to delay. We are. Yeah, which I mean, <laughs> I don't want. I we got to get some live them. time. That's right. <laughs> well, I, I want these wheels on my truck. That's the reason I don't want to give them away. Yeah, I, if I had to buy a set of wheels, I promise you, I'd buy Rhino wheels. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are awesome. Shipping free. Ooh. Uh, anything over a hundred dollars on our website, shipping is free. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a great question too, by the way. Um, we'll all right, do we need to go over any uh, legal things uh, before we... Uh... We'll slide this back in there. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, see, look at that. Yeah, uh, say it out loud. Uh, he almost didn't put the names for the, for the small prize winners back in here to make sure that they could have a chance to get their, their win, too. So he's putting them back in right now. Nobody worry. <laughs> I don't want somebody to miss their chance. That's a very good point. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, see, that's why I keep him here. He, he keeps me in line. So, uh, all right, so is there any other legal things we need to go over that you can think of? Uh, Josh, anything I forgot? This guy's got a good question. Okay, we got another good question. Hit right. us with it. Will a six inch lift work on an F 150.7? I was told that was too much. Uh, what, uh, first of all, we need to know what gear ratio you have. It'll work either way. No matter what, it will work. Um, if you're going to do bigger wheels and tires, if you have one of the, the less aggressive gear ratios, you may notice. A difference in the acceleration, but those trucks are already pretty good from the factory. What it was the tow capacity on there, like 9,000 pounds. I think they can turn some tires over pretty well. So, uh, let me borrow that microphone. All right. Uh, so his answer was 100% correct. I'm gonna be a little more blunt. Who are you talking to is stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't see, he, was, he, he was so politically correct. Um, yes, to answer exactly what he said, it, it, you are going to notice some power loss, but at the end of the day, it can definitely handle it. Yeah, uh, sure. my, my last F-150 had a 2.7. I had it level with 35s. And Probably didn't even notice it. Nope. Not at all. So I got a, a 5.0 right now. Same thing, 5. Point, you know, the 35s leveling kit. Anyways, uh, Josh, any other final closing questions you got? No? We're good? All right. Ask, so we've got all those names back in there. Um, and once again, we're going to call this person live. And I hope, since this is live, I hope that person answers because it'd be awesome to get some cuss words. You know, oh, my gosh. No, you know, maybe not. We'll, I hope we'll, not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so without further ado, uh, Colton, do you want to do the honor, sir? I, I would like to. All right, here we go. Move. Here we go. Someone's life is thickening to change. If you're not from Alabama, that's uh, about to change. All right, here we go. <laughs> We've got David Scannell from Michigan. Woo, David. David Scannell. All right, let me call that number if you don't mind. Don't call it out loud. Don't call it out can, loud. Can you read that, yeah. Small? You calling me old? I just you didn't wear your contacts today. <laughs> I didn't wear my contacts today, yeah, actually. Got to get yeah, I got to get a little, little closer. Let's see here. Chris is running away. He saw us filming. Okay, let me see. Make sure I got this number right. Call the wrong person. Tell them they're one. <laughs> Congratulations, the wrong person won. All right, we're calling. Your call has been forwarded to an automated ah. voice messaging system. Let's do. Let's call him again. Mm. He don't want to win. I'm gonna keep calling until he answers. Your call has been forwarded no. to an automated voice messaging system. He work. hit the fu button. Can you believe Three, that? Four, six. All right. Let me send him a text message real quick. Please call me back, exclamation point. It's urgent. Well, we'll uh, see if he calls us back here in the next minute or two so we can get... Um, oh, and hey. And he sent me a text message back that says, who is this? Tell him, to Mitchell, answer your phone. Let's try it one more time. Now that he knows that I'm not a, a scammer. Your call has been oh. forwarded to an automated voicemail. So much Mitchell with, with Town and Country TV calling to let you know that you won. And he's asking me who is this, and I'm responding Mitchell Watts. So we will see what he has to say about that. Hopefully he'll respond here in just a second. It's hoping to get him on live, but it nah, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Let me see that real quick. I actually saw a good question. No, the, the mic. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I see a good question right there. Someone asked, can you fit 35s on a leveled F-150? Yes, if you keep the stock wheels. If you try to do aftermarket wheels with 35s, they will not fit. But if you keep the stock wheels, they will most definitely fit with a level kit. Great question. Mitchell's over here typing a book to this poor I'm guy. I'm texting him, trying to get him to answer the dadgum phone, but no, he, he apparently did. I wonder what kind of truck he's got. That'd, that'd be nice to know. Your call has been mm. to an Maybe we should just get him, give him... <laughs> ah, we're, we're going to give it to him anyways. But if he doesn't answer and call me back in the next uh, 24 hours, he's not going to... If I can't get in touch with him... Uh, if I can't get uh, get in touch with him, I'm borrow the microphone. There you go. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to see if I can show this to you guys. You, you're you're going to get a kick out of this. So uh, I'm trying to cover up the phone number, but please call me back. It's urgent. Who is this, Mitchell Watts? Sorry, I don't know any Mitchell Watts. Town and Country TV. Never heard of it. <laughs> hey, heard of from TC Customs. Yeah, well, maybe so, maybe so. Top in TC but Customs, um, yeah, if he doesn't call me back in uh, 24 hours, we're going to have to be forced to uh, get a, uh, a backup person to, uh, to do this. 1897, that's the number. Man, I cannot believe it. So we're calling the right number. So what we'll do, 
um, is uh, if that case, what we're going to do is we're going to keep this bucket of people intact and uh, in 24 hours from today, so it's 6.07, so it's 6.07 p.m. tomorrow, if he doesn't have a phone call to me, we're going to do another live video and uh, pull another winner because if I can't get in touch with you, uh, it's hard to give me give you a set of free wheels and tires if you're not going to get yeah, in touch with true. me. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you, so, can't, you can't reach out forever. But. Absolutely. But anyways, uh, once again, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up right there. just want to say a huge thank you to every single person who's ever subscribed to our YouTube channel that has ever supported us. I know a lot of you guys have driven a long way to come buy a car or a truck from us, and we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts um, because at the end of the day, we truly just want to take care of people. We love cool cars and cool trucks. Hopefully you can kind of see that passion in both of us. And, um, and at the end of the day, we just wanted to say thank you. This is all this is, is just a way of saying thank you, giving back, because as you already know, there was not a single thing you had to do to enter this win, just fill out your information. So, anyways, um, I, I, with that being said, I'm going to let you close it out. What about the $100 gift card? Oh, the $100, oh, the $100 yeah, gift card. We're going to give that away after the fact. We're oh, with the comments. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah with this, so we're going to pick someone out of the chat. Yeah, I just thank you all again for entering and, you know, giving us the opportunity to do this. Without you all, we wouldn't even be able to do any of this stuff. So, uh, I guess that's all I've got to say. Thank you all and have a safe and good night. Absolutely. Later.